Hello, I am Genie, and this video is for future Sam the Outshiver. In this video, we are going to explain how to make a Microsoft Agent character. Before we start, you will need a few programs. First, you will need Paint. Next, you will need the Microsoft Agent Character Editor. And, most importantly, you will need this, the Microsoft Agent Scripting Helper. Now let's switch to Paint to get started. Here we are, in Paint. Now, Microsoft Agent characters have a maximum limit of 128 by 128 pixels. If you don't meet this limit, I suggest you click File. You will need to click on Properties, and then this menu should show up. Alternatively, you can use the keyboard command CTRL plus E. Change the width and height to 128 pixels. Make sure that the unit is set to pixels, if not. Then, once you change that, click OK. Now the size should be much smaller, which is exactly what our character size should be. It is at this point that we must create our character. Now, when designing this character, you must consider the profile of your audience and what appeals to them. Since it will take too long to create the character, we will pause the recording here and continue it when the character is complete. So here is our created character. We'll call him Square for short, although it does look cheap, to say the least. Anyways, we must now include animations. The number and types of animations depends on what your character does. We'll call this animation the Rest Pose Animation. Once again, we will have to go to File, and this time, click on Save As. You will get a menu that looks like this. Now, it is recommended that you make a folder containing all your character's animations. You will want to name it after the name of your character, too. Now comes the image type. It is highly recommended that you save it as a 16-color VMP file, although this may alter some colors of your picture. To get the 16 color bitmap type, open up the Save as Type drop down menu and click on 16 color bitmap. So here we are in the Microsoft Agent Character Editor. Right off the bat, you will want to do a couple of things. First, you will want to name your character. In this case, we'll name the character Square. The description box and the extra data box are both optional. It is highly recommended that if you want your character to have a voice, you click this checkbox reading Use Synthesized Speech for voice output. Now we will move on to the Word Volume tab. Here is the Word Volume tab. Here, you can change the number of characters per line, the number of lines, and change the font, foreground color, background color, and the border color. This is very useful if you want to spice up your character a little. And now we will move on to the animations area. This is where the animations you created will come into play. Here, you need to select the VMP file that you created. And if you right-click the animations, you'll see this menu. From here you need to select New Animation. A new animation is created. Let's take a look at it. So here is the Animation Properties menu. Here, you will name your animation. For this tutorial, we will name it Respose. From there, you will assign the animation to a state. For the purposes of this tutorial, we will select it link level 1. And once again, if you right-click the animation name, you will see a menu like this. From there, select New Frame, and a new frame will be created. When you create the new frame, this area should be displayed. It is here that you will choose the DMP file that you created earlier. Now your character is loaded into the frame. It is recommended that you choose a sound effect for your character's animation as TV501 has done with his MS Agent characters. 
If you'd like, you can also add some overlays into your character. This will sync the mouth with the speech the character says. However, you will need to create some extra photos for each overlay. This process shall be repeated with every animation you have created for your character. Once you are done, click on File and then click Build Character. You should now see two menus. The first menu is this one and it will tell you to save your character definition. Save it into your character folder. The second menu is quite important as we need to have the character in Microsoft Agent Scripting Helper. From the Save window, go to C, Windows, Agent, and Chars. You will save your axe character here. Once you have done this, load up MASH. In the main window, click on the character drop down box and scroll until you have found your character. Now, this process could come with some issues, so if you have any, please leave a comment and TV501 will get to you as soon as he can. Thanks for watching, and please stay tuned for more exciting videos soon.